Today I thought I would plant up some new pots ready so we've got some uh, nice flowers through the summer. I went to a local um, B&Q shop and I bought two sets of plants, both lobelia. I bought nine uh, trading lobelia that will go in some um, hanging baskets and I also bought nine upright ones that are, are more of a mix of a colour um, and they will go in these pots. I also bought four new pots and these match the ones that we already had on our decking. Um, I had four of those already and they currently have two uh, sets of violas in and the other two pots have, one has daffodils and one has crocuses in and those pots I'm going to leave um, in the back of the garden for next year so I'll just label them up and um, I'll get them back out next year when the flowers start to grow again. So the first thing I've done is taken the four new pots that I bought and I'm just going to fill them up with um, some compost and I've got some peat free compost um, and I'm going to put one of the upright violas in each um, they're supposed to spread about 20 centimeters I think so they will fill this pot quite easily um, so they should should completely fill the, the soil on the pot and um, yeah look really good the flowers will come out in a few weeks time um, and these should last through to October so um, we should get a full sort of summer display from these four pots. Um, currently as I said we've got the um, other flowers in two pots so I'm not sure how long they will last but I think they're going to last another few weeks yet so we should have a nice sort of crossover period where we've got both sets of flowers. These ones are a similar sort of colour to the ones we've got at the moment, so they're, they're sort of blues and whites, so they should complement each other. The next thing I'm doing with these plants is I've taken these two old hanging baskets that we actually brought from our old house, so they're about eight or nine years old. Um, they're sort of past their best now, probably should throw them away soon, or the, the wood has sort of started to snap off them and things, um, but I think they'll uh, survive for another season. Um, they should be okay. So we just had some um, ivy in these and there used to be some other little flowers, um, so I've just pulled that out. Um, it's quite a sort of tangled mess, um, so I've just, just got rid of those and um, I'm just going to do the same, fill up these baskets with some compost um, and for flowers I'm going to put one of the upright plants in the back and at the front I'm going to put two of the trailing plants so hopefully they'll spill over the front quite nicely and, and fill the basket um, it's probably a bit small for that many plants but it will should look quite nice quite quickly, but it should fill up quite quickly. Um, and I've got two of those and they just hang on the wall um, on the back of the house by the decking.
the third thing I'm going to do with these plants um, is put some in these little pots. Now we also had these in the old house and we used to put um, flowers in them. Um, we've got a little uh, bar that they hang from. These are actually from Ikea about or when we first moved in our old house so quite a number of years ago um, and they're actually kitchen sets um, that people use to put um, utensils in and things I think um, but we bought them and they've been outside for years and they haven't really rusted so it's done really well um, so I've put a bar up on the shed and I've, I've already got a set up there with some alpine strawberries in so I've put another bar up next to those um, and I've just got these five pots and I've used up the uh, trailing lobelia plants in these five pots um, and yeah I'm just going to hang them on the shed bit, bring a bit of colour over to that, that corner of the garden All of these pots, I've um, given them a good water in. Obviously, pots dry out a lot quicker, so um, thought to keep them keep them watered, um, especially through the summer. Um, yeah, and hopefully in the next few weeks we'll have have lots of nice flowers coming out, um, and yeah, brighten up the place a little bit. <laughs>